All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of eight to the power of x is equal to log of 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log a to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of eight is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by log eight because we wanna isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of eight. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of eight times four. So I get log of eight times four over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is gonna equal log of eight plus log of four. And I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of eight. Now, this turns into log eight over log eight plus log four over log eight. So now these two cancel out to get one. So I get x is equal to one plus log of four over log of eight. Now, log of four is the same thing as log of two squared. And log of eight is the same thing as log of two to the power of three. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do with both of these. So I get x is equal to one plus, I can move the two to the front. So <clears throat> two times log two over the same thing with three, so three times log two. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to one plus two over three, which is equal to, one is the same thing as three over three, so three over three plus two over three, which is five over three. So x is five over three. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in five over three. So we get eight to the power of five over three is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, eight is the same thing as two to the power of three. So I get two to the power of three to the power of five over three is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as two to the power of five. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two threes cancel out 
and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simpler method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes it much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 3 to the power of 13 minus 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 3 to the power of 12 plus 1 minus 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get 3 to the power of 12 times 3 to the power of 1 minus 3. And from here, I can factor out 3. So I get 3 times 3 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now 3 to the power of 12, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 6 times 2. And that's equal to 3 times 3 to the power of 6 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into 3 times 729 plus 1 times 729 minus 1. This is equal to 730 times 728 So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to 3 times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to 3 times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my all right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln, or natural log, on both sides. So I get ln of x to the power of x is equal to ln of 3. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times ln x is equal to ln 3. Now, I'm going to use an important formula called the W Lambert formula. And it states that if I take the w 
of something in the form a times e to the power of a, then this is equal to a. So this is the W Lambert formula. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this so that it suits the W Lambert formula. So we need to change this to be in the form a times e to the power of a. Well, how am I do, going to do that? Well, I'm going to first start by rewriting this x as e to the power of ln of x because x e to the power of ln cancel out so that's just x is all that remains so x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x and i have this times ln x is equal to ln 3. so now notice how this is in the form a times e to the power of a a in this case being ln x so it's form ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, I get w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 3, and this is just equal to a. So, and sorry, I have to take the w on both sides, so I get w of ln 3, and then now I'm left with ln of x is equal to w of ln 3. Now, I want to get rid of this ln, so I'm just going to take e to the power of both sides. e to the power of ln is, these two cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln of 3. So this is my answer to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and check out uh, other videos that are similar to these on my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem three to the power of 13 minus three. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as three to the power of 12 plus one minus three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I get three to the power of 12 times three to the power of one minus three. And from here, I can factor out three. So I get three times three to the power of 12 minus one. Now three to the power of 12, I'm gonna rewrite as three to the power of six times two. And that's equal to three times three to the power of six to the power of two minus one squared. And I'm writing this like this because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into three times 729 plus one times 729 minus one. This is equal to 730 times 728 So from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 700 plus 30 times 700 plus 28. So this is equal to 3 times 700 squared plus 700 times 28 plus 30 times 700 plus 28 times 30. Now this is equal to three times 490,000 plus 40,600 plus 840, which is equal to three times 531,440, which is equal to 1,594,320. So this is my answer.